And that leads us into our next segment of the day, because when she started the press briefing, she literally ripped the GOP. She had like Matt Gates's name up there and a bunch of other Republicans the the MAGA wing of the party, you know, the extremists, the threats to democracy. They're going to end the country. The January 6th, whatever the hell you want to call them, right? All, all this knucklehead stuff. Look, she ripped them a new one. All the while, during the same White House press briefing, she's saying, well, it's productive. Oh, well, we, we think they're acting in good faith. She did the same line of, of, of answers yesterday when you had Jackie Heinrich of Fox News questioning her saying, well, how can you say that they're acting in good faith and that the meeting's productive and negotiations are productive, but yet you have leaders of the Democrat Party ripping them a new one, like saying that they're extremists and MAGA Republicans and all these other things that we just got done mentioning. Like, how does that make sense? And somehow she twisted it and fumbled it for her in her crazy mind that it made sense to her, but nobody else. So we have another reporter here questioning her on the very same thing that Jackie Heinrich questioned her on. But I think this report is a lot more clear in the question. Let's go ahead and roll it. You just said repeatedly that you thought that talks had been productive, but you also opened the briefing by putting some House Republicans on blast that you put up on the screen. So how have talks been productive? So look, Thank you. Um, watch this, watch this. We just laid out, I just laid out the facts. That's all. I've actually, what I did was lay out the facts that I've been talking about and, and highlighting for the past several months. And uh, I think it's always important to do that. I think it's always important uh, when I'm in front of you all and when we're when I'm talking to the how slimy is this lady, man? Like how slimy is this lady? If you want to see the swamp, you're looking at the screen right now. Well, you know, I, I'll tell you what I did. It's like you're sitting there contradicting yourself and you don't care at all. Like you don't know. Nobody probably told you to go up and do that. You probably came up with that yourself. Like, let's rip them a new one. And then we're going to tell them like the peace. It's all negotiated and it's all peaceful and it's, it's productive and all these other things. But screw those guys, right? Those MAGA extremists, those bigots, those racists. It's like, it's so silly. It's so silly. And, and, and people buy into this. Like 25% of the country are just listening. They're drooling out the mouth. Like, oh my God, she's so right. She is just so right. American people for them to know exactly what's happening. And that's what I did. Now, are the talks productive? Yes, we believe that the negotiations, the budget negotiations that have been happening are continue to be productive. Same but at the same time, we <laughs> think it's important to lay out the facts uh, for the American people as they oh. are wondering and curious about what is happening right here in Washington, D.C. Well, what is the <laughs> Green! <laughs> Green, we don't need to wonder what's happening in Washington, D.C. We can all see it for our own eyes. We can all see what's going on. You're lying to us. You're gaslighting us. You're not running the country efficiently. You sat there and restructured the definition of what a recession was, but then you say, hey, you know, if we default on our on our, on our our debt, we're going to run into a recession. You'll probably just, again, rearrange the words a little bit, manipulate it in one, some way, shape, or form that we're not in a recession, even though the freaking economy's tanking. <laughs> no, yeah, you know, explain to us what we need to see, Green, really. Mm progress the specific progress that's been i'm not going to get into specifics about what's being discussed uh, in these negotiations no we're going to give the negotiators some space as we've been saying to negotiate yeah. to have a discussion to have a conversation we have been very clear yes uh, is there are are there areas of disagreement absolutely which is what negotiations are all about they're going to we're moving in good faith having those conversations in good faith and we believe it's a path forward to get to again that bipartisan a uh, reasonable uh, budget agreement because that is what is needed for it to actually move out of the house uh, and move out of the senate into the, the uh, on the desk to the desk of the president and then lastly on that point june 1st just around the corner does the white house believe that it will have the money to keep paying the united states as bills beyond june 1st would it be a day two days how long so look any any specifics on the x date and what that's going to look like post x date that's something that the treasury department uh is 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 going to answer or that's something that they're going to look at I'm not going to speak from that to that from here what i can tell you is our our focus is to avoid that our focus is to give the negotiators some space to continue to have this conversation to continue to co come to an agreement that is bipartisan that can get out again get out of the house get out of the senate and get to the president's desk so he can sign it and that's going to be our focus right now yeah no you're, you're laser focused kareen you guys are so laser laser focused can somebody for the love of god you guys can anybody neil shib you know, Jennifer, anybody in the in the chat that we always see, you know, Music Junkie, I, I know all your names. Somebody, for the love of God, explain to me how you negotiate when 
you don't think there should be any conditions on raising the debt ceiling. What is there? How are you negotiating? That is the message from them for like the last like hundred days. Oh, we just think it should just get passed through. No conditions. They've done it 78 times. We're not going to budge on it. We're not even going to do anything. Then what are you like? What possibly is going on in the negotiations? Because I'm more inclined to believe Kevin McCarthy right now, not just because he's a Republican, but just the fact of what they're saying and just using my head going like, well, if they're not going to negotiate, if they're not going to have any conditions on this, then of course, just naturally through common sense, you're going to be really far apart. They cannot even be close to a deal. And that's supposedly what's actually happening here. Joe Biden's nowhere near a deal with Kevin McCarthy and the GOP. Folks, time is running out. Time is running out big time. But you know, hey, you got, you got Joe Biden. He's laser focused. He's going to figure this out. He's going to figure this out in the same way they figure out the border, folks. He's not. He's not going to do it one bit. I hope you enjoyed that clip from the Bald Brad Show. If you did, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all our future content.